Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for another Outfits of the Week. So before we get into these outfits, I wanna welcome everyone who's new here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I have tons of playlists, outfit idea videos, unboxings. You can check out my handbag collection. I have so much for you to watch. And when you find something you like, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you guys don't miss any uploads. Some of you might be new here, so you might not know that Outfits of the Week was born out of me just going to work every day and showing you guys what I've been wearing. But because of everything that's going on and I have been working from home ever since lockdown, uh, I'm doing the modified version of Outfits of the Week. So I just go ahead and plan my outfits for the week and show you guys different options for what you can wear to work if you're working from home, if you are going into the office, just tons of outfit inspiration. And I ha actually have an Outfits of the Week playlist, so you can check that out as well if you wanna watch some of my other outfits, if you wanna get inspiration for the fall. I have over a year's worth of outfit ideas for you guys. So I'll actually link that playlist in the description box and run it across here in the cards so you can click that and watch it when you have a chance. And I wanna say thank you to so many of you who have been leaving the best comments. Thank you guys so much because I've been going through and reading and I try to catch up with all the comments that I have. But you guys are really great because you guys always like give me tips or if I can't find something to link in the description box, if you guys find it, you always let me know where it's available and then I can go back and update my links. So if you see anything that I don't have available and I don't have a link for it in the description box, if you know where you can find it, then share it in the comments. We all help each other, leave some tips if you have any suggestions on how to style something. I mean, I just think the comments is a really great place for us to just chat about fashion and figure out, you know, what's going on in fashion and how you wanna change your wardrobes and get adv advice from each other because a lot of times when you guys leave a question, I notice that other people will chime in and comment and the conversation really gets going. So let's hang out in the comments. All right, so let's get into these outfits because I think this outfit of the week is really great because it has a nice mix of casual, dressy casual, and office appropriate attire. So the first look that I'm wearing is great for going into the office. I'm wearing this denim jacket from The Gap. I mean, Gap does great denim jackets. I'll link some really nice options in the description box. Gap has tons of denim jackets. Every year they come out with different styles and that's what's great about it. And honestly, once you find a really nice classic denim jacket, you're probably not gonna buy another one again. <laughs> so I'll link some good options for you guys in the description box, like I said. The top I'm wearing is from Theory. This top I actually got from TJ Maxx and I've had it for quite some time. TJ Maxx is a great place to find designer brands at more affordable prices. I love checking out TJ Maxx. And I know we've had these conversations before in the comments and you guys have told me that you also love to check out different TJ Maxx stores in like in the middle of nowhere towns. If you're going on a trip, you wanted to go to TJ Maxx. If you know, like one Saturday, if you have some time on your hands, you'll go to like every TJ Maxx in your area because we all know that every TJ Maxx might have something different. So you never know what you're gonna find. So I love checking out TJ Maxx to see what kind of designer goodies they have. And you know they have TJ Maxx runway stores. So some stores have more like of like designer luxury selections than others. So if you have a TJ Maxx runway store in your area, I would suggest going there and going there frequently because you never know what they're gonna have. And honestly, sometimes it surprises me the kinds of things I can find and it's really great. And the skirt that I'm wearing here is from H&M. I've had this skirt for years. H&M, when you find a really good piece in H&M, you'll have it for a while. And I really like this one because I love the snake print. It's a great neutral, an interesting neutral. And I tell you guys how I love interesting neutrals. I'm really trying to get back to basics and incorporate more basics into my wardrobe and update the basics that I have because honestly, they're the basis of a really great outfit and you really need a good, solid core of basics in your wardrobe. So I'm trying to get back to that, but this skirt is a really nice neutral from H&M, and I love the way it hits. I love the length of it, I love the flow. It's just a really great skirt. Pleated skirts, we all know, are very comfortable, very flattering, very elegant. You can dress them up. I'm wearing mine here with a pair of Sam Edelman suede pumps, but they look great with sneakers as well. I've actually worn this same skirt with a sweatshirt and sneakers, and it looks really cute. So you can really change up a pleated skirt. Wonderful for the wardrobe. Love this outfit. Now this next look is a classic black and white look. I love those because they're easy. They always look great. And if your pieces are tailored, like nice tailored pieces, then you really can't go wrong. They're just like no brainers. Black and white outfits look really great. All black outfits always look really great if the pieces fit you right. 
The top that I'm wearing under the blazer is just a basic black top. I can link some really nice options for you guys in the description box. And I'm also always on the hunt for a really nice black t-shirt, white t-shirt. You know, just like t-shirts in general because they're really easy to layer under your blazers no matter what season it is. If you guys know about any really great t-shirt options, then leave them in the comments because I'm sure we all are looking for really great t-shirts. So it'll be nice to have, hear some other options and then I could check them out. And then we can you know, share the knowledge with everybody. T-shirts are a must have for the wardrobe and I'm just always looking for really nice t-shirts. And the pants that I'm wearing are from Zara. These are a really great fitting pant, especially for curvy girls because it has a nice high rise. It cinches in at the waist and it just fits really well. It has a nice stretch. It's comfortable when you're sitting down. It's comfortable when you're walking and moving. I really love these. Now Zara has done these in several different colors. They had them last year and then this year they brought them out again with different colors. And I actually also got an, uh, like a plum color. I love these. And usually when a brand brings out the same item like in a different color and they repeat it, even if they remix it a little bit, it means that this is something that's a classic, something that they know that they wanna keep in their collection. So that's a good sign that it's something that you might wanna check out because it's gonna be consistent. So I love these and I hope Zara keeps making them. So you guys should check them out too. The shoes I'm wearing are my loafers from Sam Edelman. You guys, I don't know how many times I've said it on my channel, but I love patent leather. And I think it's a really nice option, especially for a black and white outfit because it adds a little bit more interest. It's just another layer of a texture. It's a little bit of sheen. And patent leather looks really rich and expensive and I like that. So it adds a nice elevation to the whole look. This next outfit I love. Now if you're in the office and you can't wear distressed jeans or distressed to this level, then I completely understand. You can just swap this out for a plain pair of jeans with no distressing or you can actually wear a pair of slacks. This will look really cute with a pair of wide leg slacks, maybe like a camel color because you know the camel and the orange looks really, really nice together. But these jeans that I'm wearing are from Topshop. They're the dad jeans. And I went up a couple sizes in them and I had to get the waist taken in so it could fit me better. But I really like the baggy look of it. And it just, it's just really a really nice pair of jeans. So I'll link them in the description box. I hope they're still available, but if they're not, I'll have some other options for you guys because I've had them for a while, but I hope that I can find them because I honestly need another pair. I really love these jeans. Now the top that I'm wearing is a bodysuit from Zara. These bodysuits are very popular. You might even have one already, and I wouldn't be surprised if you did because they're really nice, especially to layer under blazers, and I have them in a few different colors. And you know, bodysuits are great because they lay really nicely on the body. They're nice and snug, so they just look really good under blazers. And the blazer that I'm wearing here is from Veronica Beard. I love Veronica Beard blazers. Actually, there's a leather Veronica Beard blazer that I have my eye on. It's so cute. And you guys know, um, if you saw my Zara haul, then you saw that I hauled a Zara like faux leather blazer. And I really, really wanted a leather blazer in my collection. I actually have a green one, but I wanted one like in black. But now that I've seen the Veronica Beard blazer um, like selection, she also did it in white and an olive color. So I would love to get my hands on one of those. Veronica Beard does really nice blazers. They're really nice and tailored and they just fit really well. So I would encourage you guys to check those out. I'll link some of the Veronica Beard blazers that I have my eye on in the description box if you want to have a look as well. But I like this entire look. The hardware on this blazer is silver, but I mixed my metals now so I don't have an issue with that. But I really love how bold it looks. And these colors of course are really amazing, especially for the fall. I mean, we're transitioning into the cooler weather. You know, things are starting to get a little bit more dark as we're entering into, you know, from the fall to the winter, all of our clothing usually gets a lot darker. So it's nice to just incorporate a little bit of a bright pop just to keep things fresh and to keep things really, you know, on the up, exciting, happy, bright and vibrant. That's really great for the fall as well. And for shoes, uh, here I'm wearing again, my suede Sam Edelman pumps. In fact, one of you guys let me know that they had the pumps available at Dillard's. If they still have it, I'll link them in the, in the description box, but if I can't find them and you guys find them somewhere else, please let me know because everyone always asks about these pumps and they're really, really fabulous, so comfortable. I love these, but I don't know if Sam Edelman's gonna bring them back, so I probably should get my hands on a backup pair if I can. So anyway, if you guys know where you can find these, then just let us know in the comments, and I'll do my best to find it, and I'll link it in the description box. This next look is really nice for the office if you work in a relaxed office environment. If not, you can swap out the jeans for a pair of trousers, but the blazer is from Nordstrom, a really nice tailored fitting blazer. 
and I just rolled up the sleeves to keep it a little bit more casual. And the bodysuit is another color of the Zara bodysuit that I love. Layered again under a blazer, it just fits really nicely. And it's the fabric and the material is just really soft. It just feels really comfortable. And the jeans I'm wearing are a Goldie jeans. They're the crisscross jean. And I really like these because they have more of an interest than a regular basic pair of jeans. Now, I had to go up a few sizes in these just so they can be a little bit looser because they have zero stretch, like zero. So if you guys are interested in these, just be warned, there's no stretch. But a nice little hack that I have found really works is that on a brand new pair of jeans that don't have any stretch, I will spray them with water and then wear them around the house until they dry and sit down in them and stand up and like walk around but mainly like sitting down because obviously when you're sitting down, you kind of like stretch the fabric a little bit more. But when the fabric is wet, it just molds a lot better to your body and it stretches a lot faster than it would if you just wore it without like wetting it. It speeds up the whole breaking in your jeans process. If you spray it with water and then let it dry on your body, it just, I'm telling you guys, just try it. It really works. <laughs> now the last look that I'm wearing is actually a look that I love and it's a lot of fun. Now, if you work in a very casual office environment, or actually, if you work in an office environment that's pretty casual, maybe not every day of the week, but like only on Fridays when you guys can really like dress down, then I would say this is perfectly fine. I would probably wear this on a Friday. I work, my office was very casual, but this is a great running around town outfit. Like if you had errands, but you still wanted to look like you kind of thought about what you were wearing, this is a really great outfit. Now, the blazer is Veronica Beard again. Love, love, love Veronica Beard blazers. I can't, really can't even tell you guys enough, but I love this blazer. It's a scuba material, so it gives me like a sporty vibe. Now, Veronica Beard makes these things called dickies that you can zip into the blazer. It's an insert and it doesn't have any sleeves. It's literally just the pieces that you see coming out of the blazer. That's all it is. It's just a hood and it has like uh, inserts on the side. You just zip it in and it looks like I have a sweatshirt under my blazer, but I don't. And what's great about it is that it doesn't add any bulk. We don't want the bulk. As curvy girls, we do not need the bulk. So I really like these because it gives me the style, the casual effortless look of wearing a sweatshirt or a hoodie under my blazer, but without all the extra material. I really like that. And then I paired it with a basic white t-shirt. This one is from Banana Republic. I really like these, but they don't always have them. So I'm always, again, looking, like I told you guys, I'm always looking for t-shirts. So let me know in the comments if you know any. But the sweatpants that I'm wearing are Nike. These are actually one of the items that I got in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And a lot of you were waiting to see how I was gonna style these for like, you know, for different outfits. And this is one way I would wear it, style just like this. Love, love, love this outfit because it's so comfortable. And the wide leg sweatpant, it elevates the look. Like I love a jogger, I love a regular like jogger style sweatpants, but a wide leg pair of sweatpants, it's like another level. It's like elevated comfort elevated casual, like a dressy casual vibe, but the fabric is still very sporty and comfortable and dressed down. It's just a really nice elevated way to wear a sweatpant. Really nice, very flattering, especially for the curves. I love a wide leg pant in general. And then for shoes, I'm wearing a pair of sneakers. These are a pair of platform sneakers that I've had for a very long time. I've had them over a year and I love these. They're so comfortable, but they add a little something extra to the outfit and they look really great paired with these wide leg pants. It's like the perfect luxury loungewear look. I really, really enjoyed this. So I hope you guys do too. Now let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite, of course. Let me know if these videos have been helping you. Do you plan your outfits at the, at the beginning of the week? Like on Sunday nights, do you plan all your outfits for the rest of the week? Because that is a really great way to stay on track with everything you wanna wear. One thing less off your plate, you don't have to worry about figuring out what you're gonna wear every single day. And let me know if these videos are really helping out. I mean, I've gotten lots of comments of you guys letting me know that you really look forward to Outfits of the Week, but I know a lot of you are new here as well, so I would love your feedback. Let me know in the comments how you're enjoying these videos. And give this one a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And before I go, I wanna tell you guys about the closet sale and thank everyone who's been shopping the closet sale. The coats that I put up went so fast, I wasn't expecting them to go that fast, but I will upload new pieces as I you know, decide to move things out of my wardrobe. And of course, I'll let you guys know when, something, when new things become available. 
If you haven't already, make sure you sign up to be on my mailing list because usually the people on my mailing list get first dibs on everything because they're the first to know what's going on. And if you wanna stay up to date with my closet sale, with what's going on at Park Avenue, then signing up for my email list is the best way to do that. And of course, follow me on all my other platforms. But I wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who has shopped the closet sale. I really appreciate it. And I know a lot of you guys are repeat customers and it just is really great that you guys are interested and I really appreciate that you guys check in and you know see what's going on at Park Avenue and shop the sale. So if you guys wanna check it out, of course, I'll have the link in the description box if you haven't checked it out already. That brings me to one of the pieces that I have on the sale that I wanted to just tell you guys about. And I know that a lot of you do appreciate when I show the pieces like in a video because then you can really see everything. So I am selling these Faragamo sandals I got these probably over a year ago and I have worn them maybe like three or four times. I haven't worn them very much at all. I love them because they're a classic black and white style, but they also have like gold embellishment and you guys know I love gold. I like these, but they're a classic sandal. And of course, Ferragamo, I mean, the quality is really great. They have a leather sole, really nice pair of shoes. And they're gonna come with the original Farragamo box that I got them. And then I also have the dust cover. This is great for travel or just another form of storage. Love that. So if you guys wanna check out these Farragamo sandals, I will have them up on the closet sale, but these will be marked final sale. So just make sure you are interested before you buy because I don't want you guys to have anything that you didn't plan on keeping forever. But these are a really great pair of sandals. And you guys can check out more photos on the website if you wanna see. But that's it, you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.